Hey everybody, Brian Garcia with Acuity Solutions. Time to shed a little more light on Team Center again. Today's topic is involving Active Workspace, which is an extension of Team Center in just a different way to display the data in Team Center that people are creating and releasing, and, and just an easier way to search for that information inside of NX itself. Just a quick review. The main Team Center rich client is displayed here, which is, has a lot of information that you can access very quickly. And, uh, and I, I really like the interface myself. Um, but there's times where maybe it's a little bit too busy or you're spending a lot of time in NX itself. And so you don't really want to leave NX. You want to be able to search on parts or part numbers, find those parts and open them up. Um, and just kind of, you know, we're always looking for ways to work more quickly. So, uh, so that's what we're going to focus on uh, on this session. Um, so we're going to leave the rich client here, but just say a quick review. We have our home environment here with our login name, and we're you know associated to a group with our certain role, which is author here. And then I've, I've got my different folders that I've organized in this in, in my home environment here. So if we hop into NX, where we left off before, is uh, yeah, I've got a, this uh, Spring Lamp assembly that I was working on. And so we've got, you know, all the different components that are in there. We've got the part numbers and names, and we also have a column for the revision. Now, there's an, I want to direct your attention to the status column. Um, we'll be working with that today so you can see that kind of information in real time inside of this environment, along with um, if it's been modified or who it's checked out to. So that's real kind of a simple thing again, but very powerful information here. If you're trying to work a project or change parts, you can see in real time who's working on what parts. and if you need to have them, uh, you know, exit out of that part because you need to make a change. So, uh, so the next thing I guess I want to show you is the, the active workspace inside of NX. So this is the, the interface, what it looks like, and just kind of you can see some of the very same, um, you know, properties are replicated inside the active workspace as we just reviewed in the rich client. And, uh, you know, I've got an inbox here to maybe talking about different tasks that you got to work on. And then we've got a home folder here, which, uh, replicates exactly what we saw in the home folder in, uh, inside of the rich client. So there's my project 22 folder that I was working with. Go back up a step here. I can also just do a search if I'd like to. I'm just going to do a wildcard search, which is already in there. And we'll go ahead and search on that. So this is going to show me all the parts that I've worked on. Um, and so you know, there's other, other criteria that we can change. You know, if I if, there, if I see something here visually or a part number I want to click on, see, I can, my, there's my spring lamp assembly. I can open it in NX if I choose to do so. I've already have that open. Or I can go ahead and open it further inside of the active workspace to expose more properties that we're, you know, that we may need for uh, desi designing, you know, other additional properties that are going to help us figure out our design and, and kind of guide me along the way here. There's where used that we can look at attachments, history, all kinds of information. Same kind of information that's also available in the rich client, just presented to us in a little bit different way. But again, it's that situation where we're, you know, we're doing data management, we're managing all of our files, we're finding, we're using those files, we're reusing the NX data. Um, it's providing basically a seamless access to all of our NX and, uh, and really any kind of document, digital document that we wanna create and store inside a team center without leaving the NX environment. And so, so the next thing I was going to show you is, so, you know, if I'm not an NX user, there's the interface in a web browser that we can get into. And it's the same kind of information is presented to us as well. So again, I can, you know, search for my own files in here that I've been working on. And actually in this display, it's telling me, you know, it's giving me a review. Maybe I'm looking, maybe I need to figure out what uh, items are released. So it gives us me a status here, or, you know, there's 17 that have an unassigned status to it. And there's there's one that's got a status of 30 and we've got two status 60. So if we're managing a project, you can see this is kind of a nice way to kind of present me with, uh, the 20 different things that it found in this environment. And maybe I need to go through and release those. So just, so again, some real important feedback here and just kind of present it in a different way and just kind of a, a browser uh, situation, which most of us, you know, all of us are used to working and navigating in a web browser. So, 
we'll return to the NX application. And so kind of just my fictitious scenario here, but many of you experience yourself where you're managing a project and you're trying to release different components within this assembly. So you don't want to release the top level until the rest of the components underneath it has a status on it. So this is kind of a nice way of managing this. Um, so, you know, something just kind of one scenario here, maybe I just want to do a quick release. So I can see I've got this uh, bulb socket and I've got a CFI bulb here itself. You know, maybe these are things that, you know, we're purchasing these off the shelf and it's not something we're designing or manufacturing, but we're getting th through a third party. But we also want to know that, hey, we've purchased this, this is released in our system and we can use this in our existing assemblies for design. So one way to handle that, I can do a right mouse click here and I can in real time put it through a workflow. So this is a, some new functionality that we haven't seen before. Um, previously, we had to use the rich client and then basically find some things in there and uh, find the work templates, workflow templates to, to release these particular items. So in this scenario, I'm gonna just go through here and I, here's my, quick release template and I'm just going to click submit on that so there's no uh, no sign off here involved so I get you know the feedback here and it's been submitted to the workflow and then you can see right away I have a status that shows up on my assembly navigator that that has been released and then uh, just kind of the next step up the way this is presented is kind of a sub assembly situation here so again I can do a quick release on this as well Scroll down to our quick release status and submit that. And we could fill in some kind of description. Maybe we put in the, the third party that we purchased that from. That might be a nice kind of note to put in there. And so right off the bat, I've got a status on each of those. And so we're kind of working our way through the list of components in this top level assembly, the spring lamp assembly. And so kind of ratcheting the complexity up a little bit, I guess the next thing I would like to do is just maybe simulate, you know, a sign off. So the same kind of thing, we're going to do a right mouse click, submit to a workflow. And again, this is using the active workspace technology here, the new functionality. And so maybe it's a two-step process. Maybe I'm, I'm putting it through a development release, kind of initial release, and then I'm moving to a production release. So I can go ahead and, and start that development release. You know, I'm doing some R&D. I can go ahead and submit that to a workflow. So then I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out of here just to show the, the web client here. I can go back up. Again, I'm navigating, I'm logged into this. And now I can see in my inbox, it shows me that I've got another a new task to perform and a total of, of one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my inbox here to see what's going on. And I can see, okay, that, that's exactly what I put through a workflow, this part number 126 the lampshade, and then I can go ahead and I can go ahead and open that particular task. And so, you know, there's all kinds of information here. Again, a little busy when you first look at it, but if we just look through this a little bit by bit here, we can look at all the targets. I can see here's the UG master, um, the different components that are being released. I can look at the workflow itself. It gives me a graphical view, just like inside of the rich client. I can see it in this color coding, this yellow or orange type color means that that's the step that I'm at, right? And so then, I, then I've got the sign offs here as well. And I can see what status it's been started or in the self to kind of check this. This is kind of a two-step release process where I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the one initiating it, but I'm just kind of doing a quick check myself here to make sure that I've got all the information there. And then I can send it off to the next step or whoever's going to review it and sign off on it. So this could be my another colleague or another manager of some sort. Um, but once I, I click on it and open it up, then I can come over to the right-hand side here and I can perform the task. So here I'm just doing an approval. And uh, you know, we can. this is gonna track the notes just like before. So I've released that and then it's gonna take me to the next task to perform. So I go to my inbox again, open up the task. And at this point, I need to assign somebody 
for this particular task. So I have a, a chance to, you know, now maybe assign it to somebody different, but just anybody that's a checker. So here I'm going to define who that checker is, assign it to myself, and complete that task. So again, I'm going to back up a step here. Here I am. I'm in, I have another task in my inbox. And then I can go ahead and I can, you know, I can open this up in NX and look at that if I choose to do so. But if I know we've already reviewed it, I've looked at the drawings, maybe I've signed off on the drawings, kind of a pen to paper kind of thing in my document control uh, department. And we've, uh, we've already signed off on that. And I can just say, uh, ready for manufacturing. And we'll go ahead and approve that. So now at this point, if I go back into my inbox, that's going to update for me. Now I don't have any tasks performed. So you can see kind of a day in the life here, you know, coming for work, you're going to log into your active workspace session and it's going to tell you if there's any new tasks for you to perform. So, and then you're just going to work through the interface and, and, and search for things and, uh, and sign off, whatever needs to be signed off or communicate whatever the next step is by email or so forth to your, your colleagues to, to get the job done. So if we uh, move ourselves back into NX here, uh, we can go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's go say team center information here. And this is actually, so this is getting to the same information that we were in the web browser. And I can look at some of the different additional properties. And I can kind of back all the way out of that and, and begin another search. So now we're back to the same thing here. I can do all that work from this inbox inside of NX as well. So there we go. I'm going to refresh the information there. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the team center information. Now I, I can see that I've got a status of 30, which is a development release there. So if I wanted to, I could put this through the final production release. Um, it's the same kind of process. So yeah, just a kind of an, a different way of signing off and a, just kind of a lighter way, a more stripped down kind of a team center interface that you can look at and, and basically, you know, seamless to team center and you, you don't have to leave your NX environment to kind of participate in some of these in, in, in the workflow status. Um, yeah, so I guess looking at some final thoughts here, um, you know, Active uh, Workspace also supports, supports uh, multiple CAD systems. Uh, any CAD system that's out there, uh, we can integrate to Team Center, and you can have the same kind of Active Workspace login tab with those particular CAD systems. Also, an another thing to think about is, um, you know, document control in general. Team Center can, can manage any digital document that's out there, and so it's not just CAD itself, it's non-CAD where you can manage and do this kind of release process. So if you're if you're in a situation where you're needing to release Word documents or any kind of Office document, this uh, system can do that same exact thing. So, again, thanks for uh, coming along for the ride here, you guys. Uh, you know, as we're discovering more things and new functionality in Team Center, we'll uh, be sure to have another session to share that information with you. But thanks again for your time. Always happy to to answer any questions. So go ahead and, and send it into the support line and uh, have a great day, everybody. Take care.